Leela again. So another way to use this circle is by taking advantage of all of these key names within here. Now the circle has all the names of the major keys and the minor keys. And what's really neat is that this unlocks a whole bunch of interesting options for students when they want to get creative with chords. So what I'll do is I'll have them pick a key or I'll call, I'll say, pick a piece of the pie because see all the little pie pieces in this circle? So if they pick the key of C, they'll notice that the primary chords are right there on either side of the piece of pie and the secondary minor chords are also included in those three pieces of pie. So I'll ask them to just circle three random notes, or I'm sorry, three random chords. So what if they circle F and then, oh, D minor and G. Then what I'll ask them to do is just to play those chords on the piano. So F major, D minor, and G major. Now those are all within that key of C. So I want them to explore it just a little bit and maybe play some patterns. Here's F, D, and back to G. Hmm, that sounded pretty good. I wonder if I switched it around a little bit. What if I started with a D minor? Go to F, exercise of exploration can really trigger some neat ideas for a composition. So I hope you enjoy the circle and exploring chords with it.